Hey, weed nerds and no-till nuts, I'm the Rascal Farmer and welcome back to the No-Till Lab. Here we are in the veg tent, looking at the Mendo Dopes and the Zaria Locos. Actually, it is water day. Sunday. And I'm doing a little sexing and I'll show you some still pictures. So far we have three males, including number six right here. It's seeming to be that the shorter ones are males on the Mendo Dopes, um, but I've only done the first six, so I will throw up some still pics and let you see these. All right, I'm just giving them some water. We're going to sex the rest of these. We're going to get out and we're going to check out the greenhouse. Look at those plants out there. We'll check out the upper greenhouse. But I have got to get these things sexed. I am running out of time on the Mendoza and the Zaria Locos. Everything outside is in flower. All right. I'm going to let these uh, drink this up and then I'll pop up the next three. Garden the greenhouse. Nobody attacks the greenhouse. Method one day. Mixing up a quart of method one into my little pump up sprayer. We're gonna hit these plants. You can see they did get, they are wet. We had some dew. Woke up this morning, it was 49 degrees and 91% humidity, and that is not supposed to be happening now. That shouldn't happen until the end of, oh, September. <laughs> you know, when it's even more important. But that's hurting for certain. All right, we're going to mix up the method one and hit these things. Then we'll actually take a walk around and take a little closer look. You know, probably the most common mistake that I see when people spray their plants and they get into their uh, IPM is that they don't hit the bottoms of the leaves and they don't focus on the stem of the, uh, the trunk of the plant as well. You want to make sure that you get up underneath. I like to spray from down up and I'll go around the plant. almost fell over a pallet from bottom to top then I'll step back and I'll actually spray the top of the plant and I focus on that stem as well in the center so that I can get all the way down the stem just like that pretty simple all right, I'm going to hit the rest of these. Well, I want to give them a little help. Some of these plants, like the green ice, the ninja fruit, blue dream, they could be a little greener. They're still a little tweaked out, so I'm going to give them a little help. And I've made up a dose of... My organically done fish and kelp, this will be the last dose of this that they're going to get. I'm going to give them a little CalMag, and I'm going to give them a little Bacillus root inoculant. I'm going to give them a little HydroGuard because I've still got some of that stuff left around. So It's probably a year old, so I added it a little stronger than normal because it's got a six-month shelf life. And I'll probably get rid of that stuff here real soon, and I will switch over to Recharge. I do have Mammoth P. I've got some testers of that, so the next time that I give them something, because you can see they are definitely, uh, they are definitely starting to flower. We go take a look at the uh, Blue Dream. Look at the Ninja Fruit. Praying. Looking healthier. There you go. 
Look at that. Hard into flower already. I'd say if this was indoor, this is probably already on like day 10. Code black. All right, we're gonna hit them with this fertilizer. I'm still doing it the old fashioned way because it's, it's easy. Got my pot. We did get three quarters of an inch of rain here a couple days ago. So they really don't need to be watered. I'm only going to give them a little bit. But they definitely need a little help. So I'll probably go around every single one of them and give them one pot. And I'm going to turn off this camera while I do it because this is a pain in the arse. Back in a second. I figured I'd show you what the next step is with the greenhouse. You can see I've got that track. Now let me go grab a piece of that wiggle wire. Hold on a second. I'm going to pause this. Ta-da, magic. Wiggle wire. <clears throat> this is wiggle wire. And this wiggle wire goes inside that track. So you lay your plastic over it. And then the wiggle wire goes inside, catches on these edges, and holds the plastic in place. These tracks are from the old greenhouse, so is the wiggle wire. And they're going to go as we look at my comfrey that's drying, because comfrey is an incredible ingredient and amendment for your worm farm and your compost pile, but different story. Um, track. I'm going to take all of the edges that the plastic is going to wrap across, like the top edge of that outside header, I'm going to come in with a router and I'm going to round those edges off. So those edges are going to be nice and, and round. Right off the bottom of that round, I'm going to put that track and I'm going to put it up there. So that if I was to sight across it where that plastic comes across that rail, it would almost come right down across that rail, wrap over the edge of the track, and then go right in and be held in with the wiggle wire. Then the plastic will come down the header, wrap under the header, and I'm going to screw a 2x2 two two up and hold that in place. That's going to keep the plastic starting out flush at the top right up against these 2x4s and against these 4x4s. Then the plastic is going to come down the side all the way down. To the rail where I'm going to have a little metal plate that sticks up and when the plastic comes down into the rail I'm actually going to drop a probably a 26 foot section it's going to take three pieces of that swagged top rail for uh, chain link fences and I'm going to drop that on the plastic and then I'm going to wrap that stupid plastic up in that pole so that I can just take that pole bring it up Put it into a hanging bracket and then roll that plastic up and I can actually have some manual roll up sides. I'm going to do that on both sides. So the first thing I need to do is come in here with a router and I need to route those edges anywhere that plastic is going to come across. Clean up the corner, clean that up up here at the top, and then that point on the peak. I need to take that point completely right off. That one up there. I can't see what this looks like. I'm being blinded by the sun. Right in my face. So once I get that done. And get that all routed. Then I can get that up. And we can get this thing plastic. 
I really don't need to have it plastic now for probably another two to three weeks, the way it looks. I would say probably two weeks. So I gotta come in, I would clean that up. And then the only other thing I need to do is I'm gonna take Garden the Greenhouse. Good dog. Gracie the Wonder Dog. Down here along the bottom. <laughs> it's still open. So I'm going to come in along the bottom. Last year in the greenhouse that you used to see in the intros of my other videos, the roof was made out of these cattle panels. Now I'm going to take these cattle panels and I'm going to cut them with an angle grinder right off so I can keep some of these tails. I'm going to stick those points into the ground and then I'm going to fasten them to that rail so that it totally closes off the bottom here. That way when I close off the bottom, nothing can get in or underneath. Mainly those crazy yellow birds that I have running around this place. The chickens are always in here and they love the vetch. Man, they love the vetch, they love the clover. Pots anxiously awaiting the Mendo Dope and Zaria Locos. All right. This phone is about ready to run out of juice. So I got to go charge it. I am going to throw around to golf today. And then we'll get back to this. Up in the house of the unknown female. Looking at the 45 gallon pots. Pretty sure this is a haze cross. It's certainly not all haze. But when we crush the leaves, you smell the stems. It does have lemon. It does have a little citrus. This too, looking very similar. They're big. AK-47. I'm probably about six and a half, seven foot tall now. Green crack, we think. Remember, these are all educated guesses. <laughs> but it looks like it. Love this plant. Love the structure of that thing. They filled out nice. Look good. Finally, they got used to these pots and used to this soil, and I'm hoping that's what happens down there in the greenhouses. Those two don't, those out there don't take too long to uh, get used to their new home. Very cool. Looking good. Everything's starting to flower. All right, guys, that's all the time we got today. You know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm the Rascal Farmer. We'll see you guys right here next time in the No-Till Lab.